Hey, Mark Harvard here with Sustainable Frugal Living. Teresa and I moved out to the woods between San Antonio and Austin over a decade ago. And one of the reasons we did that is to uh, reduce our living expenses, which we've done dramatically. Um, we don't rely on uh, municipality uh, services. Of course, we're in the country, so you know, some of them we don't even have, you know, such as electricity, water. Um, uh, we actually have a, a, a garden. We have small livestock that provide food for our table. And uh, we just don't have the bills like we had before. And uh, it's been uh, very enjoyable, uh, more gratifying. It does take a little more time uh, th than uh, living in the city and that sort of thing. But uh, another reason we did is because of, of reading about Agenda 21, Agenda 30, talking with my granddad years ago about fiat currency and the direction that society's headed. Uh, uh, historically, many, many societies and empires have done the same thing. Why not look at histor history and learn from it? Um, reading experts uh, in, in this field, as well as eyewitnesses who have lived through it, for instance, like in Argentina or Venezuela, um, you know, what did they, what happened? You know, what are the details? And so we began to realize uh, many, many years ago, uh, we should get out of the city, <laughs> get to the country and, um, you know, cut the uh, umbilical cord, so to speak, and do things on our own. And uh, we're no experts by any means. We're learning as we go. Uh, we've been fairly successful at uh, achieving this goal. And um, one of the things that I've noticed now in social media, especially, there's a lot of reports. There's a lot of things going on that are basically just in your face and making people wake up and say, hey, what's going on? You know, things don't add up. We're uh, losing so much. Uh, Meatpacking plants are being shut down. Um, a lot of services are just no more because of uh, having the economy closed for so long. A lot of businesses are bankrupt. They're probably not going to come back. Um, a lot of jobs have been lost. And a lot of uh, people are, you know, for instance, unemployed. Unemployment rates are skyrocketing. Um, and this is going to have a domino effect. I know you've heard that analogy over and over, but it's it's very true. Uh, with people losing their jobs, losing work, not having money, they resort to lying, cheating, stealing, and crime rates go through the roof. And that's why I say, you know, the city is not really a good place to be because that's where the the um, the, the density of people exist, and, and that's where most of the you know, bad things happen. And you're right in the middle of it. Um, what we wanted to do is put together this video uh, to, to share with others our experiences or you know, offer to share our experiences and instruction if you would like to escape the city not only to um, provide a more safe environment for yourself and your family but also to reduce your living expenses which you can do dramatically I mean up to 80 percent that sounds like a sales pitch or something but it's actually very very true and it doesn't take um, you know loads and loads of money um, sometimes it's just a matter of knowing where uh, you can get money or maybe you have money already you don't even know about uh, in different uh, instruments and so forth but anyway um, I know there's lots of questions when you embark on this type of uh, um, you know, goal. Um, you know, wh where do you move? Do you move to a valley? Do you move to a mountain? Which is better, uh, south side of the mountain, north side, east or west? You know, there's just so many questions. Do you build a house, or do you move a mobile home, or you know, manufactured home onto the property? There, there's so many questions. Everybody's got uh, specific circumstances, and um, I've been through many, many over the uh, my lifetime. And we, I would just like to extend my experiences to, to help those who are reading all of this and you know, adding it all up and, and coming to the conclusion that, hey, I don't think the government's in our best interest. Um, I don't think we have a very long time. A lot of folks are getting 
um, a false sense of security by the stimulus checks and unemployment extensions and things like that. Although I don't believe that's going to last very long. And one of the main reasons is the U.S. dollar is on its uh, last few months, I believe, as the world currency. Uh, that's one of the reasons the oil prices have been uh, dropped to negative in order uh, for countries to collapse our banking system. And they're succeeding. Uh, this is very, very serious, uh, creating a you know just a horrendous domino effect. Uh, our economy, I believe, in the next few months is going to uh, give people a false sense of calm before the storm, basically, and then it's just going to slide off a cliff. Going to get uh, very bad, very, very rapidly, and the government won't be, won't be able to help uh, once once the governments go broke and big companies go broke, uh, uh, not just big ones, but little ones and big ones. Um, you know, people, um, you know, their pension check quits coming. Their uh, Social Security stops. Uh, Medicare is no longer. Uh, there's just so many services that, that require money. And when our U.S. dollar is no more, um, we're looking at you know high inflation, if not hyperinflation. And that means that your dollar is not going to buy anything. It's just going to be worthless. Um, so. If you're looking at uh, getting out, I would encourage you to to you know read more, and if we can help you, uh, reach out to us. Uh, we'd like to share our experiences, our um, our ideas, and hopefully uh, prevent you from making some of the mistakes that we made, and and learning from our experiences overall. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. If you like this sort of thing, this topic, or uh, DIY, homesteading, gardening. Check out our other videos. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, hit the thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. God bless.